Hi, it's Gati, and this style of video is going to be a little different from what I usually do. Uh, I usually just do speed paints or matte parts or something, but this is more of a challenge. I chose to draw a flower, a character, like um, a random character, something just there on the spot, and a dragon, but with a limited color palette. I asked my mom to pick five random colors, or not random, just pick five colors. She chose two different tones of lilac, one fuchsia, um, one black, and one dark gray. So these colors sort of gave me the vibe of like pretty but dangerous. Um, I don't know, the black is just like, like a mystical, mystical thing because purple isn't really that natural like blue like there are some small purple flowers but not really big ones like blue and purple are prettier in the natural world at least so i decided to make around a medium size maybe the size of your hand a flower that's lilac but with pink edges so it's like a warning system like this could be poisonous this could be dangerous that some animals and some plants use in the real world and I decided to add some spiky bottom leaves sort of like a roses in structure um, I don't know why though it just looked like a little creepy but a little pretty you know that vibe still going with that beautiful but dangerous mood or theme I guess um, I decided to move on to my character. So these colors also seemed like slightly fancy to me. Um, like as I mentioned a bunch of times before, it's not something you find in the natural world. It's something that's more manufactured, more complex, like um, something man-made. Um, so I decided to go with a type of ball gown, a type of dress, because that seems sort of complex to sew and also because it reminds me of elegant things, you know um, older balls, dresses, whatever and um, she's supposed to be holding a spear or a small knife or like a dagger for the darker tones it took a really long time to sketch her out. I wish I could speed the video up more. Um, you may be thinking, well, as you mentioned, purple isn't a natural color. So in older days, like not so much in modern times, why would someone be wearing something so costly, something of this color that would be so much harder to produce? Well standing out i guess um it makes her pop out while still sort of blending in with the dress and the type of scene that i imagine her in and yes i did have to give her purple tips hair tips thank you very much <laughs> This dragon took so long to sketch um, and a little time to color. I really couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with her. But pretty dragons, rain wings, in case you haven't read Wings of Fire, they just basically change colors and they can spit venom, but they're known to be a really peaceful tribe. Um, tribe being a group of dragons. So I put a bunch of bleeding marks on her and I put her face sort of aggressive with her ruff at the back of her ears flared out because I wanted it maybe it to be like she's trapped by human hunters or she's an experiment or she's cornered something like that this was a really weird video and yes I know this audio is really sloppy there is no way to put speaker notes in this program too bad um, but I hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. Thank you for watching. Bye.